We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha, in the state of Qatar, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Fred Samuel, who is Chief Information Officer of the Office of the Prime Minister for Vanuatu. Fred, it's great to see you again. Great to see you again. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014, is future in focus. What developments in technology, policy or business do you see as keys to the near future? For me, the main key technology that we should focus on is uh, the last mile, developing the connectivity for the unconnected, the digital divide. We need to find the key technology to help us to bridge the gap. As soon as we bridge the gap, it will add a lot of impact on the economic and social development for any country in the world, especially in the least developed countries. And uh, you've just been involved in a session here about ICT stars. I wanted to ask you, how is uh, Vanuatu an ICT star? Vanuatu is definitely an ICT star because there's so much that's been happening in this small island state. We've learned, we've come to the ITU Telecom Wall, we've learned a lot about the disruption that is happening in the industry. Eh? I can assure you that with a very strong political will that is being demonstrated by the government of Vanuatu, Apart from the government as well as the opposition, there's so much that is happening right now in Vanuatu. We've developed our comprehensive national ICT policy. We've actually developed a fully integrated government broadband network. We actually bring our first submarine cable to Vanuatu this year. We have a MCAF, the first ever fully comprehensive MCAF strategy in the world. We have a fully comprehensive universal access policy. Uh, one of the key about objective of the universal access policy is to connect 98% of the population of Vanuatu with broadband and voice by January 2018. So we've done a lot of things way back in Vanuatu, so that's why we consider Vanuatu as an ICT star. Yeah. And ITU Telecom Mall was an opportunity for us to share our story to the rest of the world. That sounds absolutely great. You had a lot of progress going on there. I know you've been participating in a number of sessions here. I wanted to find out from you what have been the key, what have been the key moments for you, what have been the highlights of the sessions here at ITU Telecom World? I think all the sessions have been fantastic. It's great to learn about big things that's happening in the industry, from the rise of ODT players to the Internet of Things to mobile spectrum, etc. Everything there's been I've enjoyed thoroughly all the sessions that I've attended. One of the key sessions that is very interesting to me is uh, network functions, virtualization. For me, this is one important technology that we have to keep an, uh, our eyes on. And uh, what is the main value for Vanuatu of attending events such as this? The main value for Vanuatu for me is I'm attending here as the Chief Government Information Officer and I'm the key policy advisor to the Minister responsible for ICD, which is the Honourable Prime Minister. I think to come here and experience all of these, to learn new things, it put me in a perfect position to actually properly advise the Prime Minister on how should we develop the ICT industry in Vanuatu mindful of all the challenges, all the trends in technology. I think it's been fantastic and I hope that the lessons learned here, I can cope back and probably advise the Prime Minister on how do we develop ICD as a key enabler, especially in targeting the rural areas of Vanuatu, how it can contribute to social development, especially and particularly in health and as well as education. I see you've been exposed to a lot of ideas here. I wanted to find out from your own perspective, what single technological innovation do you think will make the most difference in the next five to ten years? For me, the single most important technological uh, innovation that I think should happen is how do we develop mobile hubs that will help to elevate, uh, to improve the health sector and as well as improve the literacy rate in education. Fred Samuel, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.